Hello everyone. In the previous lectures, we learned about data validation and we filled the product category column, the model column and the quantity column. In this lecture, we will learn a new function called VLOOKUP and then we will fill the unit price column and then the unit cost column. In this sheet, I have mentioned some similar functions to VLOOKUP which almost performs a similar task. We will learn all these functions with the example in this sheet. Then we will go back to our main sheet and fill the unit price and and unit cost column. The reason why we are learning all these functions is then you will have a clear understanding depending on situations which function is best to use because all these functions have their own advantages and disadvantages. All right, let's get started. In this example, I have given the employee name, the employee ID, their date of joining and their nationality. Suppose if you want to find the nationality of the employee 261, usually what we do is we use a control F method. Method. That is, we copy the employee ID from here, then go back to this sheet, select only the employee ID column, we press Ctrl F on our keyboard, which brings this find and replace window, then we paste what we copied, that is the employee ID, and then we click on find next. So here in the 65th row, we find the employee ID 261, and his name is Daniel, his date of joining is 10th Jan 2018, and his nationality is Sri Lankan. So what we do, again, we go back to our main sheet. Then we type in is national saying Sri Lankan. Just imagine if you have a list of 1000 employees and if you have to find the nationality of 100 employees. If you are using this control F method, I am pretty sure it's going to consume a lot of time. So this is where all these functions come into play. These functions can perform the same task in less than a minute. Even if you have 100 employee IDs to find their nationality, their date of joining, all you can do in matter of minutes. So initially, we will be focusing on the VLOOKUP exact match and then we will see the other functions one by one. Now what is our objective? We need to find the nationality of all these employees. So here I'll click on this cell then I will say equal VLOOKUP and the first option I get as VLOOKUP then I'll press tab on my keyboard. Now if you notice there are four arguments in this function. The first is the lookup value then the table array then the column index and finally it is asking for the range lookup and the range lookup is in square brackets which means it is optional it is not mandatory. So what do you mean by the lookup value? Lookup value is nothing but what you want to look up. Table array is where you want to look up and then the column index that means in which column do you have the answer and then finally the range lookup. It means do you want an approximate match or do you want an exact match. So what is the lookup value? The lookup value will be the employee ID in this case because if you remember in the control F method we copied the employee ID and we searched the employee ID in this sheet and then then we got the nationality as Sri Lankan. So our lookup ID will be the employee ID. So what I will do, I will select the employee ID as my lookup value and then I will put a comma. Now here it is asking for the table array. Again, what is table array? Table array is where you want to look up. Now we have the employee ID as our lookup value. Where do you want to look up this employee ID? We want to look up in the sheet. So this will be our table array. And always note, you have to choose your lookup ID column as the first column. In this instance, we choose the employee ID as our lookup column. So I can't start from employee name. I should always start from employee ID. So what I will do, I will select this entire table. I'll press shift, control and right arrow key. So all these three cells will be selected. Then again, I'll press shift, control and down arrow key. So I can select the entire table. So again, I'm starting with the employee ID because in this case, employee ID is my lookup value. So we should all always start from the column which consists of the lookup value. I can't start from the employee name because employee name is not my lookup value. Also if you note here, here it says 101R into 3C. That means right now we have selected 101 rows. Here R stands for rows into 3C. 3 means we have selected 3 columns. Right now we have selected B column, C column and D column which means 1, Two, three. So here it says we have selected three columns. Suppose if I selected the E column as well, here the 3C changes to 4C because we have selected four columns. And right now we have selected 101 rows. If I select one more row down, here it says 102. Again, if I select one more row up, it says 101 row. So by this, you understand how many rows you have selected and how many columns you have selected. In this case, we don't want the column E. So I will deselect and I will select only 
only up to column D. So here we have selected 101 row and we have selected three columns. Now, when I put a comma, it is asking the column index, which means in which column do we have the answer? Right now, we are looking for the nationality. So the nationality is in the third column. How do I know it's in the third column? Because the first column is the employee ID. The second column is the date of joining and the third column is nationality. So when you are selecting the table array itself, you will understand which column is your answer is in. So even if there are some columns hidden, it will give you the correct column number. Maybe your lookup ID is over here and your answer is in the K column and maybe say from E to J you have hidden and when you select the K column, it will give you the correct column number. So you do not have to memorize or you do not have to count manually saying 1, 2, 3, you do not have to count it manually. When you are selecting the table array itself, you will know in which column is your answer in. So in our case, the answer is in the third column. So I will say 3 and I will put a comma. Now it goes to the last argument range lookup. Here we have two options. One is the approximate match and the other one is exact match. If you want an approximate match, you can type 1 or you can say true. Both are same. Both refers to approximate match. If you are looking for an exact match, you can type in false or you can simply put 0. Both 0 and false refers to exact match. In this case, I want the exact match. Why? Because I want the nationality of the employee ID 261. I don't want the nationality of 260, 262. I exactly want the nationality of the employee 261. So what I will do, I will just put a 0 which means I want an exact match and then I will click on enter. Now I get the nationality as Sri Lanka. If you notice, we are working on the sheet 1 and our main data is in this particular sheet. We are inserting the VLOOKUP function to retrieve the information from a different worksheet. So which means by default there won't be any dollar signs attached. We have to put the dollar signs manually. So what I will do, I will just click here and press F4 to lock these cells. Because by locking the ranges, when I drag this down, I am making sure that my original table array won't shift. It will be absolute. Suppose if you are retrieving information from a different workbook, maybe you have another workbook. Now right now we are working on the Excel lessons advanced workbook. Maybe you have another workbook and you are trying to use the VLOOKUP function to get the information. In that case, automatically the dollar sign will come in. We do not need to place the dollar sign manually. Since we are retrieving information within the workbook, within a different worksheet, we have to insert the dollar sign. So now what I will do, I got the nationality. I will just double click over here and I'll get the nationality of all these employees. For example, if I change this employee ID to 201, here also it says Sri Lankan because if I go back to my original sheet and if I see the employee ID 201, his nationality is Sri Lankan. Again, if I change this to 202, the nationality automatically got updated to Canadian. Again, if I go back to verify, then 202 employee is from Canada, which is correct. So by using this VLOOKUP function, we can save a lot of time. In the next lecture, we will use the VLOOKUP function, but we will be focusing on the approximate match. So see you soon in the very next lecture.